Hi, everyone, and welcome to our weekly team call. I hope you guys are excited and ready and pumped because today's going to be an amazing call that's going to be led by Miss Courtney. And so we're all super, super excited, guys, because many of us are coming off of the high of what is Summit. And so, you know, let this be my announcement to you that if you were not at Summit this year, make it your goal to be at Summit next year, okay? So all tickets, I believe, are $130 until July 9th, and that is going to be the least expensive way to get in. It's an absolutely phenomenal venue. You know, those of us that have gone to several summits, it was a phenomenal venue. Everything is super close. Even if it's raining, you can still get around without having to get wet, which is really awesome. And so just kind of keeping that in mind. And so I know for me, guys, I am like fired up outside of coming outside of Summit. And I'm sure I'm going to wait and see what Courtney chats about today. And I'm going to be letting her kind of run, um, take over. But one announcement I have is definitely look out in the next 24 to 48 hours, we're going to be putting out a calendar um, and I'm going to post it on the team page. And that calendar is going to have everything that you're going to need to know for July. Okay. And so it's going to have all the dates that you're going to need for the team calls. It's going to have all of these sneak peek dates. There's going to be two coach sneak peeks. One is going to be a live opportunity call. And so what that is, is that you'll be inviting someone to a live call that'll be held through YouTube. So all you have to do is send them the YouTube link and at the time, and at that time, two of us are going to be going live talking about the opportunity for 30 to 40 minutes. So that's gonna be one of the things that we're going to be doing in July. And the second one is going to be an actual sneak peek group in the format that you guys are typically used to, and those will be two weeks apart, okay? So making sure that you are, um, you know, making note of those once you see what dates they are. Another thing that we're going to be starting in July is we're going to be doing an Emerald Push Group the first week of July, so next week. So we're gonna make an announcement for that um, tomorrow. So make sure that you guys are aware of that. We're going to do the Push Group starting the first week of July. And then we're going to have two additional, actually two additional types of calls starting in July. One is going to be for those of you pushing for Emerald, active builders, you want to be pushed, you want to be held accountable, you want to have your questions answered. Those are going to be twice a month alternating. And again, those dates are all going to be on the calendar for you. So you guys can have it all written out in your calendar. And then we're going to have two, we're going to have two calls specifically for those who are active emeralds. So you must be an active emerald who want to push for diamond. And we're going to have a group specific of a, a call specifically for that twice a month. So again, I'm just kind of letting you guys know we are going to run the rest of this year. And for those of you who want to run, which I know there are many of you, this is why we're doing this because this team is on fire. I am like getting chills as I think about it. This team is on fire. The momentum is high. And you, we want you to have the support and the collective energy, guys. This is when it's not a good time to go MIA. It's not a, a good time to disconnect. This is when you wanna be plugging in, even if at times it seems overwhelming, Stay connected. Another announcement I want to make is keep out for um, these landing pages that Nina and Neff have been so gracious, have so graciously made for our team so that we can use for our um, promotion of our products and our recruitment. And we're going to talk a little bit about that, but basically what they're going to be, instead of having to talk about the information and send individual YouTube links, we're gonna to try to simplify the process even more for you guys. Like literally a three-step, four-step process, simple, where once you know what their goals are, you say, okay, great, let me send you over an information, some information for you to review, and you just send them the link with the landing page. That's going to have all the information. We're gonna have one for Lift 4. We're gonna have one for 2B Mindset. We're gonna have one for the coaching opportunity. And are we going to have one for just all access challenge packs eventually? So, and we're going to have one for all access basic challenge packs, okay? And then the idea is that we're going to have one, we're going to have a landing page with the information, 
then you're going to follow up with them, ask them if, you know, ask them if what they liked best about what they, what they saw and if they want to pursue the, the, um, the package. And then once they say yes to that, we have a second page that will have the different options on there of the different packages with the prices. Okay. So it'll be two landing pages per kind of like niche. So the lift for the to be mindset, the all access and the coaching. Does that make sense guys? So it'll be a step so simple. You don't need to be trying to explain what a challenge pack is. You don't need to be trying to be figuring out where the YouTube links are for what coaching is or for lift four or for 20. You don't need to do any of that. This is like simple. And we're doing this because again, we want to see you have success and we want to take, we want to make sure that, you know, we're all going to be doing this. And so just letting you guys know. So as we start posting those in the team page, they will be in the units section under the scripts and inviting while I'm talking about the units. I want you guys aware that there are units in the team page. So utilize them. Okay. Utilize them. We are organizing more information into there, especially if you are a new coach, make sure that you are looking at the units in there. We're going through scripts. We're showing you the transformations of our team. That is where you can go for training. Everything that you need to have success is going to be in there. And if it's not in there, let us know what you need. I know, for example, I want to put in a free group resource in there. We need to do a unit on that. But let me know what you are looking for, what you need. We will get it for you. We will get it done. Okay? But, you, but just be realizing that the units are in the team page now. That's how we're going through our coach training. As you guys bring on coaches, you're going to tag them in the first post, in the first unit so that they can see the welcome. So again, a lot of this, the system that's coming in is making this gonna, is meant to make this easier for you, where literally your job is just to be being you on social media and promoting your best you, promoting your results and inviting people into our community. That is what I want you focusing on. Anyway, I can keep talking forever. So Courtney, why don't you go ahead and I'll probably piggyback off of something in the, in the end but I'm gonna let you go ahead and take over the call right now. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I mean, you can keep going though. I mean, you don't, you don't have to stop. I mean, you're doing so fantastic. So, uh, hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. You guys simply being here is a humongous um, commitment. You know, I know everybody's really busy, so I wanna respect your time. I can get real passionate, so Stephanie, steer me back on track if I start getting on a high horse. Um, but we have a ton of announcements and Stephanie kinda got into it. Um, let me share my screen. Okay. I don't know if my computer is being slow. There we go. <laughs> so, uh, tons of announcements. Like Stephanie said, the tickets are at an all-time low, so please make sure that you utilize it. If Price is something that's difficult for you, like it was for Jordan and I when we first got started. It is definitely something you want to take advantage of right now or as soon as you can. Um, the location will be exactly the same. We're going back to Indianapolis, y'all, and tearing it up one more time. This is all, by the way, inside of the um, breaking news. So if you need to go back and look at uh, the details and things like that, please just go ahead and log on to your coach online office and go to breaking news. It'll be right there for you. Uh, the Beachbody Classic. So there are several ladies that came to, with me to Summit that are going to be trying to do the Beachbody Classic Physique competition. And I would love to have a lot of other beautiful bodies up there, no matter what the freaking size. I don't want to hear like, oh, you know, like I'm not ready, whatever. Like come show your stuff because there's a lot of ladies that aren't at their peak or whatever. And a lot of men that aren't at their peak, but they're still up there rocking it. So I want to see everybody um, that is going to come to Summit that would like to do it. Don't have that negative mindset that you, you can't do it. I'm going to do it, and I want to see a lot of people up there with me. Beat Your Best July. So um, this is an initiative that Beachbody has put into place to just really help us to grow and not to get complacent about where we are in our success club points. Um, so my personal best, I, I, I'll be upfront and honest. Uh, let me show you. My personal best is success club 16. So I need to hit 17 to hit the mark for it. Well, I don't know if you can really read this. <laughs> so I'll just, I'll just read it for you. So um, my personal best was uh, success club 16. So for me to, um, 
you know, meet this uh, challenge, I have to hit 17. The baseline, guys, is Success Club 5. So if, you're, if you've hit two in the past, hey, keep pushing. Success Club 5 is our, our, our minimum. And then after that, um, you will be able to earn these uh, bronze and uh, bronze medals. If you hit uh, five Success Club points higher than you did before, you get actually a silver medal. And uh, if you hit 10 uh, Success Club points more than you did before, then you'll get the gold. Um, also, they're going to have a star medal, which I'm super excited, and that celebrates your leadership. So your star leader, your star would be if you were able to help one one more coach hit a success club than you did the previous year or the previous month. So um, my best is uh, one coach hitting success club. So I need two coaches to hit success club to be able to get that star medal. And that just really pushes us guys as leaders and to really implement what they're teaching us on a daily basis about being able to be there for our team. That's very, very important. Um, after that, the success club re reward system is, is completely changing. Um, so in the past, we've been able to get some prize every single month. Well, it's actually going to change um, from July to December. You have an opportunity to win three different prizes. Um, the all-time mega uh, success, uh, success club reward is going to be a duffel bag, a travel bag, and that is if you hit success club all six months. If you hit Success Club three months, what was the prize again for the three months? Uh, it was a shirt. A shirt. Or no. Yeah, I think it was a shirt, hat, bag. Right. So the if you're able to hit it three three months in a row, you'll get the shirt. If you hit it just one month, so if you don't make it in, in, in July and you miss the duffel bag, um, you still have an opportunity to get the shirt and the hat. And the hat is just if you hit it uh, in one month. So you're going to be getting those pretty much as the month ends. Um, you won't have a really, really long hang time. You're not going to get them all at the end of the year. You're going to get them as you earn them. So um, that's a shift from the, the monthly, but I still think it's a great reward system and definitely just ups our game to make it, you know, even a greater priority to consistently hit CISAS Club. Uh, to be mindset certifications, guys, I'm so excited about this. So um, basically it'll, for an entire year, you're gonna have a certification to be able to teach and train uh, on the 2B mindset, kind of like we're able to have like these live classes. It's gonna be the same exact thing, but for nutrition. How incredible is that? We're like upping our game and uh, making our uh, credibility even that stronger by having this nutrition background. Um, then we're gonna have pre and postnatal workouts that are gonna be released by, I believe that's the Mess the Moss uh, um, super trainer. I'll, Ad, Ad, Adalas, 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 I think that's how you say it. I'm sorry if I butchered her name. <laughs> I'm talking really fast. That's going to get released in mid-August. Transform 20, y'all. This is another Sean C. Our girl is back and slaying. So it's a box. Uh, like if you've ever been to a step class, this is a step class. But it's in a really, really short time. He took out the, the like star leaps and tuck jumps and things like that because he doesn't want to hear any excuses about, I can't do that. And plus, he said he's 45 and girl, he, don't have, he doesn't have time for that anymore. So <laughs> anybody can do this, every fitness level. Um, and I'm just super excited to see Shanti come back. It'll be on sale in December. Shift shop proving grounds, guys. Woo woo. If you were a shift shop, ship shop person, he's going to come back in all of his glory and have an, a, another opportunity to really just give us so much, um, so many tools to really succeed. So the shift shop um, proving grounds is going to be like a, a tester, kind of like Insanity did. I think they had like baseline testing. And so every single week, you're going to come back to the proving grounds and make sure that you beat your reps so that you're really pushing and you don't let your body plateau. And he's going to be in there doing it with you. So that's kind of exciting. Don't forget that Lift, uh, Lift Bora and Mess Demos, uh, the VIP early access groups are starting July 16th. Um, Mess Demos and the uh, 2B Mindset is bundled, guys, for a super deal. I just saw this, and I believe that if you get them bundled, um, that uh, I believe it was, uh, like if you're buying Mess Demos with the 2B Mindset, 2B Mindset is like 78 bucks, something like that. Go check out the FAQ to make sure, but that's crazy. Um, you also have access to your 2B Mindset Nutrition app. If you haven't been checking that out, make sure you do. Um, do not forget, guys, that we have a free live workout that you can invite tons of people to. That, you know, like they don't have the, the oh, well, I don't have money. Oh, you know, 
it is kind of at a strange time for some folks, but I think it's totally worth it. So drum roll, the last thing guys, Shakeology seasonal flavors, y'all. Oh my gosh, we're getting the, um, we're getting a new seasonal flavor called, <laughs> <laughs> called <laughs> pumpkin spice what, what? pumpkin spice shakeology we're going to be able to utilize all no. of the tasty tasty ingredients no. uh, that are going to make <laughs> even no. the babies excited so we're going to have a uh, pumpkin spice shakeology for once it's actually going to be healthy don't waste your money at starbucks like we're going to have something that's genuinely good for you guys so those are my announcements i don't want to get caught up on the shakeology so First off, I'm going to start with the fields. Y'all, I was a crying mess the entire time. I, I probably cried at least four or five times. Jordan had to ask me if I was okay, like, do I need to be sedated? <laughs> but I was just so in love with the energy in the room. And for such a long time, as many of you guys know, I struggled with depression and anxiety. And that was simply because I wasn't addressing the way that I was feeling as I was feeling it. I was suppressing it, deflecting it, trying to make a joke out of it, and not acknowledging the way that I was feeling. So it was kind of a bag of emotions. But it was just incredible meeting our team. I loved getting to meet everybody. And the incredible thing, Jordan and I were, you know, waiting out front of a restaurant. And we were just so nervous about meeting everyone for the very first time. But as soon as they got there, as soon as everybody got there, like I have goosebumps just thinking about it. As soon as everybody got there, like I was completely at ease. I did not cry. I was very impressed with myself and everybody was exactly the person that they're supposed to be because we do a good job about, or not supposed to be who we actually are because we do such a good job about sharing honestly and truly where we are at life and our struggles and, you know, cheering each other on every step of the way. So it was just incredible being able to meet the team and hearing all the success stories, guys. Like, I mean, there, there were, you know, stories of foster children that never thought they were going to be able to make it that, you know, went to college, graduated debt free or somebody that lost 170 pounds and kept it off. If you guys saw my post about Jeff and Craig, man, those guys lit me up. And then I also got to meet Arnita in person and she just spoke so much life and fire into me. And um, so, yeah, so total, total feels. I just wanted to start there because, you know, Summit is a great uh, place to learn a lot, but also you grow so much like your heart grows. I, I don't know. My little Grinch heart was this big and it, it just exploded while I was there. <laughs> So actionable items for you to take today. All of my analytical folks out there, I try to provide something that was substantial but not overwhelming because I do respect your time. Like I said, I don't want to make this like an entire, um, you know, coach call and things like that. Talk to your upline if they were at Summit and they'll be able to give you like all the juicy details. But you have to do it right. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through these next three things and it doesn't mean anything if you don't apply it to your own life. That is just as much for, for you as it is for me, because I'm definitely guilty. When everyone came home from Summit last year, I was like, oh, that sounds great, and then I never used it. <laughs> so please use this as your free Summit. You didn't have to pay for it. You didn't have to travel, everything else. Use it as your free Summit and talk to your upline. So effective planning for a business life. If you fail to plan, you're going to plan to fail, guys. So like Stephanie was saying, she provides these awesome calendars um, for the team, but makes, make one for yourself and your team. And, um, you know, if you, if you got a bigger team, if you got a smaller team like me, hang out with Stephanie for a little bit until you got your ground. But I, I make a calendar every single month, guys, every single month, I jot this stuff out, I make it look crazy and I travel with it because if I don't like, look at this month, like if I hadn't traveled with my calendar, I'd have been completely lost. So create your calendar so that you know where you need to be at and so that you can lead your team. Cause if you're not organized, you're going to confuse the hell out of them. And nobody likes that. Be a, de be a decisive leader and lead them somewhere by having a plan. And set working hours. This is something that I most definitely regret not doing. I didn't set business hours. I kind of just flew by the seat of my pants. And post-summit, Courtney is going to get her crap together. And she's already sat down and written it. And for accountability, I'm going to show you. <laughs> this is my rough draft. And I know that the pixels are looking all crazy. But I, I, I sat down and I really got honest with myself. I was like, okay, well, if I woke up just a little bit earlier, if I went to bed just a little bit earlier and I packed in my time, I can make it so that I do not feel so overwhelmed. Guys, I work rotating shifts. I work in a refinery. It's open 24 hours a day, every single day of the week, including holidays. I do not get a whole lot of like weird, you know, or not weird, but a lot of free time. I work weird hours. So me respecting my time, makes it more efficient for me to be able to help others. 
So um, I put in here even times for me to post two stories. That way I'm not like, oh shoot, it is you know 10 p.m. and I've only shared one thing on my stories and now no one's gonna see it. So uh, here are some great things to share in your stories. Shakeology, that's something Carl Deichler is always talking about, but please do not, do not take a photo of you with the Shakeology logo right here and then kissing it. No one cares about the actual shake guys. You're not selling a product. You're selling you. They want to fall in love with you. They want to fall in love with your story and a product is not going to do that. So please do not kiss the Shakeology bottle. You don't love it that much. And on top of that too, guys, it's not about the shake. It's about the way it makes you feel. So talk a little bit about that. Share workout clips, uh, share examples of healthy eating. It's one thing for us to like, be like, Oh, I ate so healthy today. I feel so good. But if you actually share it, then you, you, you're building that trust and that, you know, respectability in your business that you're not just kind of just flying by the seat of your pants and like saying something. And then, uh, what does Sigi say? He says, what you eat in private, you wear in public. So like be proof that we're actually doing it right. Uh, share your lifestyle and your brand. I'm still working on this guys. I'm still working on my brand. I think it changes for everybody in different phases of life. Like Stephanie, she just got engaged y'all. That's going to be her post here soon. Like all of the, you know, venues and all of the pictures of different kinds of dresses and everything else. And I'm pumped to look at it. So like her story and her brand is going to change a little bit because she's a taken woman now. What, what? And then do a daily invite because people aren't going to know if they can come to you if you never share, right? even got my night shift together because uh, I was that creepy person text, uh, messaging somebody at two o'clock in the morning. I'm going to stop doing that because it's not a good luck. Okay. Don't be a creeper. So I've jam packed the beginning of my day so that I can get all of my messages out before nine 30. Cause I don't want to be weird. Don't be weird. <laughs> okay. Second tip finding and creating uh, business builders. So um, this was actually shared by Jordan's uh, man crush, Jamie Fitzpatrick. And um, you're gonna do this in four different steps. So it's gonna take time, just like everything else in our business, it takes time. So you're gonna intrigue people with curiosity marketing, and you're going to um, target your team with curiosity marketing, showing them little things like, I get to work from home today, you know, like that, and like maybe just have like, you know, you're, you're, you're energized there with like your dog sitting next to you. That's totally our brand. We love <laughs> dog parrots and like, you know, having your laptop set up and maybe a journal and like blur out exactly, you know, like beach body stuff, of course, but saying I get to work from home today, intriguing somebody to like, want to know what the heck do they get to do from home? I want to be in my pajamas building relationships. So that's as simple as like seeing, I do this all the time. People on Facebook like to vent and things or they'll just post like, I had a really crummy day. I will always message that person when I see it because you need to speak love into those people's lives. You don't need to be like, I don't got time for that. Obviously they're going through something and they could definitely use personal development and a team of badass people that wanna see them succeed. So I always message those people and I say, I really hope that you have a better day tomorrow. I'm sending you uh, positive vibes and love. Something that simple and it doesn't have to be someone that I've talked to before. I've done this plenty of times as a cold message. Um, and you know, a lot of the time, who's, who's gonna be mad? about you saying, oh, positive vibes, who's gonna be mad about that? So just send it because I promise you, even if they don't reply, it helps, it helps them. And really, honestly and truly, we're in the business of helping other people, so why the heck wouldn't you? Um, trust, so this is just you showing up every single day. Um, people, <laughs> a lot of uh, these network marketing um, businesses are out there, don't have a lot of longevity, there's companies that get bought up by others, and so they think we're just a quick fad. But guess what? Beachbody's been around 20 years, and the next 18 months, we're going to go freaking hard. So we ain't going nowhere, guys. And so we need to build up that trust that we are a reputable fitness company because there are a lot of people out there pushing products and pushing pills and pushing shakes and waist trainers and all sorts of stuff, but they are not a fitness company. We are. We are the only fitness company out there. So build that rapport, guys. Build that trust because we are genuinely the only company out here that is helping with fitness, nutrition, and with the coach like you awesome people that are on my screen. So <clears throat> build up that trust and then eventually it might lead to a, a partnership. Maybe they don't want to be business builders, you know, uh, but when they first sign up, but when they see the income potential, when they see how many people are changing their lives with the freedom, not having to drop their kids off at a daycare, being able to stay at home and build an actual business, they will become business builders, guys. If they, if they sign up as discount coaches, that is the foot in the door. 
okay? I would not knock the, the discount coaches. If you're a discount coach on here and you're thinking, maybe I want to dip my toe in, dip it all the way, jump. Just jump in once, okay? Give yourself a chance. Um, <clears throat> this is something that I need to do, do I need to do better job of doing because I haven't done it um, very well. Speaking to other people's pain points, guys. Um, we, we sometimes get kind of hung up on our own personal journey. I, you know, even though um, I was 20 pounds heavier than I was 80 days ago, I'm a mesomorph, so I guess I kind of just hit it underneath all my, my muscle and stuff. Um, so a lot of my clothes, like, I, they don't fit anymore, um, but they were fitting hella snug. Um, I could still fit in them. I wasn't at the point where my clothes were just kind of there like a stranger's closet, but maybe I should share in my stories about like, if you walk into your closet and you feel like this is a complete stranger's closet because you can't wear anything in here and I want to help you give them a solution, right? Speaking to other pain points because just because that's not where you're in your journey, maybe who knows, maybe that could be me after I have kids, right? So you want to really just help anybody that's um, your vibe, you know, you don't want to help everybody out there, but you want to speak pain into their pain points that are relatable to you in some degree. Maybe I don't uh, have trouble with my weight, but my sister, Karen, you know, she fluctuates pretty greatly just because she has hormonal problems. So maybe I should speak a little bit more into her life. She's my sister. I want to help her. And then speak into your own pain points and honestly share what they are. Don't put up a highlight wheel, real guys. Nobody likes perfection. Share who you honestly are and what struggles you're going through because there's somebody out there that's going through it. Um, I shared a little bit about um, my support of the gay community, even though I'm not homosexual or anything like that. I posted about it and I got three messages, including one lady that told me that she's bisexual and she's never told anybody, not even her husband. And that me sharing that really, really helped her to feel more at peace with who she is and supported. I have a little brother that is gay. And it's my pain point that like, he could get into a, plane, a place that's so lonely that he feels that's the only way out. So I shared a suicide hotline in my, in my stories and I had three people reach out guys, three. So speak honestly about what's going on in your life and who you are. And there's somebody out there, if they, if they wanna scroll to the next or whatever, they weren't the people you're supposed to be helping anyway. So don't get hung up on that. And the last thing, is affirmations and gratitude, guys. Confession. I do my personal development. I do not do affirmations, and I need to be freaking doing them. My husband, Jordan, has an entire, like, three or four, what, how long is it, Jordan? Uh, 28 minutes. <laughs> Jordan has a 28-minute recording of his voice that I hear every single morning while I'm trying to and go to sleep. It's really embarrassing. Let's no, do it's it. not. I gotta it's, redo it. it's not embarrassing, Jordan. That's just where you were when you started. Don't yeah, be embarrassed. Yeah. Don't be embarrassed, but I, I hear it every single morning while I'm trying to go to sleep because I just got off the nights and I hear it playing and I hear his voice saying that, you know, Jordan and I will be top beach body coaches um, that we are, no, that not that we will be, that we are top, uh, uh, top beach body coaches, that we are debt free, that we are putting our kids through college debt free, all that kind of stuff. So this is an affirmation that I took from my buddy Craig and he is fantastic, y'all. Um, when you write it for yourself, make sure that you write it as I am. So like for the first sentence, if no one tells me today, I am beautiful. But I'm just going to read this simply for you because I was, I was listening to him say this in the crowd and I just felt like he was speaking right into me. So I hope that it does the same thing for you. Um, sorry for all you analytical uh, squares out there or you, you, uh, you beavers, but I think that we need to pump each other up in this way too. If no one told you today, you are beautiful. You are blessed. You are loved. You are the best. There's no one better than you. You are better than no one except the person you were yesterday. Tomorrow, you will be better than the person you were today. You can have, be, or do anything you want in life because you are limitless. And I absolutely believe that. I believe that for every single person on this call right now, you took the time to do this and you are speaking life and, and love into people's lives every single day. Jordan has a PD. Yeah, this is a, uh, this talks about how to do affirmations and how to write them out. I would recommend getting this book. I posted it on our page. If you have trouble with affirmations, check out the book. It will help you. Yeah. And when you're writing your affirmations, don't ever say I, I will, or I hope you have to speak it into existence. So 
speaking like it's already happening to you, like Stephanie says, money flows to me effortlessly, something like that. Saying it like that instead of I hope for money or I want money because <laughs> your subconscious isn't here that so you're always going to be hopelessly seeking um, some kind of financial gain and not really making meaningful connections in life and falling short of that goal. Another thing, guys, start your day by telling one person how much they mean to you. And this might not seem like it's really something for your business, but trust me, that person might be struggling and they might be in a point in their life where they don't have anybody. And you telling them something as simple as when you, when you re, when uh, we went out last week or something like that, just hearing you laugh and smile and we talking, it really did something for me and I appreciate your friendship. Just saying something like that, something as simple as that doesn't have to be anything groundbreaking, but you're telling that person how much they mean to you in your own way. Um, check out Sean Aker. He's fantastic. He has a famous YouTube video uh, from his TED Talk, and he's got three books on Audible that are phenomenal. I don't have a credit yet, but I will be downloading one of his books. Um, I believe the one is like, uh, what was it? Something about happiness? The, the happiness? The study of happiness. The, staff, the, uh, the study of happiness. Uh, okay. So I'm going to check it out. But um, so those are my affirmations and gratitude tips. And here are my three takeaways. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to go back to the gratitude and affirmations for a second. Okay. Um, I don't mean to interrupt, but I, I just want to stress. I want to piggyback off of what Courtney says, guys, and stress to you that this is very, very much something that every single one of you should be doing starting tonight. Starting tonight, you should be getting into a habit of saying your affirmations, writing your gratitude. I actually started a, a journal um, where I am journaling and my goal, right? Because it's not about doing things perfectly. We all know each other. So I said, we all know ourselves, I should say. So I said, you know what? My goal is to at least try my best to journal three times a week. Let's start there. Let's try. Obviously my goal is to journal every single day, but I give myself that grace and that compassion and knowing, but the key guys is that literally your reality is spoken through your words, the power of words. It's so incredibly important. And like Courtney was saying is that our subconscious, our subconscious makes up 95% of what happens to us in our life. Whatever we tell our subconscious, 95%. I want you to understand that. What you're reading and listening to me speaking right now in the conscious mind is 5% of what actually happens. You talking to yourself in your mind is your, you talking to your subconscious. And so whatever you're telling yourself, if you're saying I can't or you won't or whatever it is that you're telling yourself, you're literally speaking that into existence. So be very, very, very mindful of your words. And another thing that Courtney said is that the subconscious does not recognize words like not. So if you say, I do not want to be fat, all it's hearing is I want to be fat. If you say, I do not want to be poor, all it's hearing is I want to be poor. And guess what's happening? It is making it happen in the universe for your ass to be poor, okay? So you need, if you wanna have more positivity, if you wanna have success, and it's not saying I want, because guess what you get when you want? You get more wanting. So it's saying I am. Every, anything you say after I am is the most powerful statement you can have. And so look at the people around you right? Do this exercise. Look at the people around you and what are they saying, right? Are they being really negative? You're going to, if you just start being mindful of this, you're going to start seeing and start correcting your children. I know Jackie's on here and she started affirmations with her daughter. And so like just start doing them with your children is incredibly powerful. And two more things. The last five minutes before you go to bed is the most powerful for your subconscious, which again, if you go to bed being worried, and being concerned and being anxious and being like stressed out, that's what you're gonna be dreaming about. That's what your subconscious is going to be replaying as you sleep, okay? And so this is why you need to train yourself and you, tra and you literally stand in the mirror and you train yourself, I am beautiful, I am bold, I am a light worker, I am a child of God, I am success, I am abundant, I am joy, you know, money flows to me effortlessly and endlessly, I am an elite coach, I am, we are a 15 star team, everything, is affirmative and also saying thank you. That's how you also get do your gratitude and your affirmations. 
Thank you for making $2,000 a month with this opportunity. Thank you for the 10 new clients I'm going to have this week. Thank you for you know the, the diamond rank I'm going to achieve next month. Thank you for the positivity and the joy in my life. Thank you. Thank you. Those are the two things. And then the last thing is, so Jordan, don't feel bad because Money I also easily and quickly have my recording. I am financially abundant. <laughs> and so guys, success leaves clues. And you do this on your, your, your voice recording. Every single one of you, this is your assignment tonight. I want you to write down your affirmations, pull up your voice recording, and I want you to record it in your voice. I am, I am, I am. And you can keep adding to your recording, okay? You can keep adding to it as you start getting more affirmations. But this is your assignment for tonight. Post it in the team page. When you do it, I posted my recording. But I want all of you guys doing this because this is key. This is key. This will change your life if you start being mindful of your words. And yes, Blair, I also have started meditation that has absolutely changed my life. I use the Calm app that all flows into all of this. Affirmations and gratitude and calming your mind and allowing abundance, guys. You have to believe, allowing abundance to come into your life and stop being your worst enemy. Stop being what's limiting you because at the end of the day, you all can have success and it starts with the words, okay? All right, that's all I have to say. The mind is so, so powerful. So getting control of it. Thank you, Stephanie. Goosebumps. Getting control of it unlocks potential you never thought was going to be there. So my three takeaways, and I'm going to have Jordan share his. Um, my three takeaways is that summit is a new negotiable, guys. Like, not negotiable. I'm sorry. Um, because what I got out of it wasn't just tools, wasn't just um, tips wasn't just new apps and wasn't just new filters and stuff like that for my photos. It was so much more than that. I built a relationship with 23 of my teammates that I've talked to on a daily basis or, or, or just shouted love into their life when they post on in our team page that are going through something. I got to connect with those folks. I got to sit next to them and talk to them at dinner. And some of those conversations, I know that I'm going to remember for years and years to come because they impacted me on such a deep level. So when people will say like, oh, well, like I can be successful on my own. You can try. You can try. But this business is not the kind that gets formed on your own, which is the reason why Stephanie told you at the very beginning, this is not a time to clock out. This is not a time to retract or to retreat. You've got to be in this family because that's what we are, guys. So lean on each other if you're having a hard time. Find a success partner. Yes, Irene. Find a success partner that's going to push you and give them the, uh, the authority to be able to call you out when you're not doing what you need to be doing. So that's my, that's my first. My first is that someone is my new non-negotiable. I've already bought my ticket uh, after I get off of this call because Stephanie told me that rooms are going fast. I'm like, shoot, I got to get on the rooms now. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and look at the rooms. Um, next thing guys, I need to implement business hours because I, I confided in Stephanie while I was at, um, summit and I'm going to be real. We're family, right? Like the last two months, guys, struggle bus, struggle bus and success club is a destination that feels like it's a mile away. Every mile I get there, it feels like it's two miles away, three miles away. And it, it it's evading me. And you know why? It's because I wasn't respecting my time. Well, I Work got crazier. I work at a refinery. Like I said, it's open 24 hours. There's people that are quitting. There's people that um, get sick. You know, stuff happens or taking vacation. And so I'm in there all the time. There was one day that, or there was one week where I think I got a total of maybe eight hours in the entire week, the entire week, y'all. So like, instead of saying, okay, these are, these are the things that I know I need to be doing and sticking to it, I withdrew and it hurt me in a major way. So I stopped developing the conversations that I needed to be having. I stopped expanding my network as much as I needed to. So instead of like, you know, trying to make 10, 15 new conversations, I was making five. That significant difference, y'all, five people a day made a big difference in the last two months. And sometimes you got to learn the hard way for you not to mess up again. And I'm learning the hard way. 
The only reason why I'm sharing this is not for like, <laughs> it's not so that I feel better because I sure don't, I don't like admitting when I'm wrong. That's, that's who I am. I'm very competitive and stuff like that. But if it helps any of you guys, I'm going to tell you right now, implement some business hours, guys, because everybody's life gets crazy. And even if you're a full-time mom, that's all you like. That's all you do as a full time mom. I don't want to hear anybody say I'm just a stay at home mom because you guys have a really important job. But if you guys don't implement some business hours, your life is going to take advantage of that time. Murphy's going to step in. Things are going to happen. Snowballs out of control. So set your business hours so that you can respect these four vital behaviors and move your business the way that you want to. Because I'm learning the hard way, for sure. I'm not going to be making that mistake again. And my, my third takeaway was track. I've, you know, I've even, I think I even did a team call on tracking. I've done this before, but again, when I was going through my crazy business hours, I was not setting a specific time to track. So I'd be like, Oh shoot, I didn't track. And then I would leave people off or I wouldn't track for one or two days. And then I've left people off because it's been one or two days. And I'm telling you y'all, there are plenty of opportunities that I've left on the table, including one lady that I just saw that posted a 20 day fix DVD pack. Girl, that's not the best value. You're not in my freaking challenge group. You don't have your bag of Shakeology to give you your dense nutrition. I mean, I don't even think she had the, uh, the portion control containers, y'all. She just had the DVDs. I let her down by not tracking my business. That's me, that's on me, 110%. So I need to be tracking my business better so that I can help more people. It's not about money. It's not always about money, y'all. It's about her starting this thing and she's not gonna have all the tools for success. That's my fault. So that's my three takeaways. I'm gonna hand it over to Jordan now. Quick, quick and simple, honey. Don't get crazy. Right. Don't get crazy like me. So uh, Someone's gotta have the reins. I had a lot of them, but first <laughs> one is the phase life rule. And what phase are you in right now of your life? Everyone goes through different phases and you need to figure out where you're at and what audience you're gonna be attracting. So uh, I have like, I took a picture of the screen, but it says like, where are you at? Are like your kids in school? Are you traveling? Are you single? Mom life? Do you have a new baby? College? Engaged? Like any of those things, like what do you like? What are you, where are you at right now in your life is where you should share because those are the people you need to attract to your business. Um, Another one was, uh, she went over it, the organization and tracking and following up is huge. I have a trouble with follow-ups. I'm like a month behind, I'm not gonna lie. I need to catch up. But um, basically, make sure you're organized. I've been writing everything out. You wanna see how crazy I am, sorry. I don't wanna overwhelm anybody, but <laughs> I wanna show you how, I shared it in my stories. <laughs> this is just insane amount of just, stuff like I need to get organized way better so organization and tracking I've been good with my tracking right now I have my uh, streak up which is awesome and uh, so I've been good with that so far the last one is the there were so many great trainings on Instagram because I'm trying to build my Instagram because that's where it's at right now so there was this one rule called the 531 rule where when you're expanding your Instagram you like five things uh, on their page you comment on three of them and then you give one follow and that's for every person that you come up to that you vibe with. Don't just do this with random people. So those are my three takeaways. There were a lot, but those are probably my top. Yep. Yep. So that's all we've got, Stephanie. Um, I, I appreciate y'all's time and thank you for listening to me get crazy and passionate and thank you for letting me be myself with y'all. So I, I appreciate all y'all so much. <laughs> Um, someone asked, what is the name of the affirmation book again? Oh, it is called what to say when you talk to yourself and it's by Shad Helmsetter. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Very, very cool. Yeah. So guys, as you can see, like, and I think some of you who are, who were not at summit, you can stop sharing your screen. I, you okay, can see that thanks. some of you who are not as some of you can see the momentum and the energy from the people who are coming back and just how excited and how alive and how pumped people are for this business and their goals and setting new goals. You can see what this opportunity does, right? And what Summit does. And so absolutely, it's a non-negotiable, right? And, you know, so just kind of keeping that in mind. And another thing that I would just kind of add, and I think one thing I would encourage all of you to be doing is 
find a success partner, find someone that can, you can push with. And it does, it can be someone who is at the same level of you. It can be someone who is, you know, maybe just a little bit of, uh, you know, ahead of you. But the point guys is that success partnerships only really work when you both show up and when you both are willing to push each other and be honest with each other. And the same way that I give you guys tough love, you have to have that type of tough love skin as well for yourself, but also for others, because this is you building your leadership muscle and it's you encouraging others to do their very best and be their very best. So I know like Irene, you're partnering up with Luce and you guys need to push each other and be honest and just always ask permission and say, hey, are, is it, do, you, do I get your permission to push you? Do I get your permission to be honest and to let's go for our goals and be, you know, and really taking that responsibility, right? Because at the end of the day, guys, you can't, you know, you can't allow yourself to go MIA. You can't allow, and then also asking and putting that in, in mind and saying, what hap what do you want them to do if you do this, if you start filtering off or you start going MIA, what do you want them to do, right? And so making sure that you're finding a success partner. Um, and if you don't have that, at least getting into a small pod, if you're not in a pod, part, and it all depends, pods are not for everyone only because it can be a lot. It can be a lot when you're just getting lots of messages. And I understand that. And that's the beauty is that we can find something. And so maybe you working one-on-one -on -one with someone where you're sharing your daily accountability will be best. And so again, there are tons of people on the team right now that are pushing and going. So making sure that you are doing that. And then the only other thing that I would um, just kind of emphasize that Courtney said is really think about guys, you know, what are the pain points of your audience? You know, what are the pain points of, and a lot of ways to go through that exercise is to think about what were the pain points that you had. It's like Blair thinking about before you came into my life or before I came into your life, you know, what were the pain points that you struggled with? You know, same thing with you, Irene, and, you know, um, and Betty and everyone that's on here, Jackie, you know, it's really thinking about how did you feel, you know, and were you lost? Did you feel, you know, all of those like emotional triggers, those words, those are the words that you should have written down. And guys, writing it down somewhere and having a running list is something you should have as well. You know, I use things like Google Keep as for like, to, you know, to keep lists and to keep things for myself. You know, some people have things written down on paper of just words and trigger emotions and things like that. So really starting to, no one's expecting you to remember this all the time, right? People use Evernote, people use notes on their computer. So just really thinking about, you know, what are the, you know, what are the key pain points for your, for your customer? And I'll even show you here, like, this is not necessarily, but it shows you, for example, just how serious I am about writing down things, even on my wall. Look at that. I bought these, like, these, like, big sticky thingies, and I put them on my wall where I can see them, and I list pain points. You list, you can create lists. You can see them. They're all, oh, it's not really pretty, but when I'm sitting at my desk and I'm, like, trying to think about what I want to post about or what I want to write about, it's easy for me to look up, and this is something you, Jordan, and, and Courtney should be doing because you guys are both working the business together, so it's fine if you do this in your house um, or those of you who live alone, but just having these triggers and writing down the list of the pain points, writing down the list of, you know, what is it that we exactly do? What are the benefits that the person is going to get from joining our community? Spe specifically speaking to, like, the actual benefits, like, for me, for, for us, for example, people have increased confidence. You know, they can, they lose weight. That is a physical benefit. You know, they have more happiness, more joy, more community. That is a benefit. And so I just really want to encourage you guys to be writing down those things. And then the uh, last thing that I want to be encouraging you guys to do is talk about the business. And I don't care if you haven't made any money, but talk about the business and talk about the community and realize that what you are inviting people into is a community. You know, people, you know, there's a lot of people out there who do the, who join this business, not for financial success. So asking yourself, what has been stopping you 
from, from inviting people to the coaching opportunity? What is it that's been stopping you? You know, and you know, I, I was talking to Lenny about this today and she's like, I, didn't, I don't have financial success. And I'm like, Lenny, but you're a coach and you love this community. Like, that's why you still coach. Let's be honest. You know, look at Nina. Nina's been a coach for like almost 10 years, you know, and she's had ups and downs. And, you know, is she happy with her financial success? No, but that girl bleeds beach body blue more than all of us. And it's not to like throw her under the bus, but it just shows that people stay for community. And look, she has her, look, she has her notepad too. See, she has, you got to utilize it. That looks empty. You got to, <laughs> you got to utilize it. So, but you know, people join for- It's new, I just bought it. <laughs> oh, okay, there you go. Excellent. Yeah, you get them at Staples, guys. Office Max and Staples, you know, Walmart has them. And, they're, and they stick on the wall. They come with stickies and they stick on the wall. Um, but people join this for community for belonging, for, you know, growing into themselves. So promoting that, you know, that in itself will get people interested. And the more that you start talking about it, the more that you will find other people to join your tribe, right? Because if you're here, if you guys are here on these calls, let's be honest, it's because you want to grow a business. There's a, there's a part inside of you that wants to have success in this business. You know, otherwise there's a part of you that wants other people to join and there's a part of you that wants to see some financial success, but you want to be serving others, but you can't serve others if you keep your mouth shut and you can't, you know, you can, if you're not talking to people about this opportunity and you're not telling them what they're missing out on, think of how much your life has changed by what we say in our community, right? You know, think about what, how much your life has changed physically and emotionally and speak to that. And that you will attract people. You know, Nina's saying we want the freedom, right? People want more flexibility, more time freedom, more financial freedom. That's key, right? And so really speaking to those types of things, freedom, and speaking to what is to come and utilizing the success within our team as, as, as you are still building your success, utilizing the success, because there are a lot of girls on our team that are having success. And they're having, you know, success with the business and there's tons of physical transformations. So really guys, it's, it's up to you to be speaking about these things consistently and speaking about these things, you know, with, with confidence and that confidence can be built. And even if you're like, well, I'm not confident yet, guess how you get confident. You get confident by speaking and practicing over and over and over again and seeing then nothing happens to you bad. Like nothing bad happens to you when you're talking about it. And no one's gonna come at you and like hit you. And no one's gonna like, you know, throw eggs in your face. Like people are just going to say, hey, yay, that's for me. Or no, that's not for me. That's the worst that's gonna happen. But if you remember what you tell yourself, those words, don't say that you're not a leader. Don't say that you can't write. Don't say that you can't be on video. Don't say these things. But just say, I can, I am, and those, that's what you need to be saying to yourself. So do more with our lives that has meaning and passion and purpose. Life has to be more than just the grind of the nine to five. Yes, guys, I, you know, that's why I do this. You know, I think those who know me closely know this is why I do this. They know that at the end of the day, this is what I bleed, is I bleed passion and purpose. And I believe every person is meant to be living with that same passion and energy because when you're fueled by purpose and you're fueled by passion, you won't be tired. I'm telling you, you won't be tired. You will find the way to make it happen. You will find the desire. You will figure it out when you are fueled by purpose. But a lot of you work a nine to five where you're clocking in, clocking out, and a lot of you don't like your job. And it drives you crazy and it stresses you out. And you're just like, I don't want to go to work. And again, you have to, while you're building this, yes, you still have to work and you have to put in the extra time in the evenings, dedicated time, not scrolling through social media, you know, dedicated time of reaching out and putting the, and reaching out to contacts and following up with people. It's the dedicated time. You, it's like I was telling one of the girls on here, I don't think she's on here anymore, but I was telling one of the girls on here, actually she is, I won't call her out, but I was telling one of the girls on here that your desires won't happen, you know, if you don't take action. All they are, they're their wishes. You know, money's not going to fall from the tree. Money's not going to fall out the sky with you saying, oh, I want to do this. Oh, I want to, she sees me. So I know she knows I'm talking about her. 
but you know, money's not going to fall from the tree. Okay. And you have to take action, imperfect action. Um, but you have to take action and that's the most important thing. And you can't be afraid. So just really asking yourself, you know, what's been stopping you and let's, let's change that story up, right? Because there's no reason why you can't have success. There's no reason why you can't be helping people every single month. There's no reason. And guys, remember, you don't have to be always selling challenge packs. That's another thing. That's another thing I just wanted to throw in there. Remember that we have a slew of products. It's about, you know, meeting the customer where they are. So if you sell a beach body on demand for a hundred bucks, that's 40% commission. That's fantastic. If you sell a boost, you know, to someone who needs help with their constipation because you keep talking, they keep saying how they can't poop, that's 25% commission on the digestive boost, right? But we have a solution for everyone and it's up to you for you to understand what your products are. That onus is on you and that responsibility is on you. It's not meant for someone to feed you that information. So take that onus as an entrepreneur to understand our product line and to really look and see what do we have to offer because we have the beach body on demand which everyone knows we have shakeology everyone knows that but do you know we have the digestive boost and the power greens and the focused energy which is amazing the focused energy it gives you nice natural increase in energy throughout the the, the throughout the hours that the throughout the hours after that you take it but those are things that people can add, even if they're not on Shakeology, if they're taking their Vega shake or whatever that they take, their plant-based Vega shake that they buy from Whole Foods or whatever, guess what? They can add it to that, right? And so it doesn't matter. And so, you know, we have our bars. Those are also other ways. We get 25% commission on that. You know, the bars are some ridiculous 6 billion, you know, I don't know, some ridiculous number market, you know, in the a 3 billion, $3 billion market in our country snack bars and so people are clearly buying snack bars and so it's up to you to be sharing about it posting about it on your stories asking it in your polls on instagram who loves you know who loves you know eating snack bars you know and just really starting those conversations you know we have the three-day refresh right the three-day refreshes are great you know a great uh, purchase for people to really decrease their bloat over three days Great to be talking about after the major holidays, 4th of July, Halloween, Labor Day, Thanksgiving. And you're going to see, we're going to be suggesting that in the calendars, guys, that that's something that you consider so that you're talking about it. But also, I'm telling you, we have all these products. You guys know we have all these products and you can make an income after, you know, you know giving all of these products. The performance line, you know, the pre-workout, which I know most of you know the pre-workout and the post-workout and the intro workout and the creatine and Christina's taking hers, taking her pre-workout, but the pre-workout guys and just really realizing that that's another product that we have, you know, the daily sunshine, that's another product for picky eaters. And that's another great product guys that you can promote to people who have a lot of allergies, who may be allergic to Shakeology they may be able to take daily sunshine and there are adults, lots of adults will take daily sunshine as a snack. And so that's also something for you to consider. So remember, if you can't sell the challenge pack, again, it's not a fail. It's about meeting the customer and asking them, what are you, you know, tell me what your goals are. What are you need? What are you struggling with? And listening to them and, and keeping your ears open and saying, you know what? I actually think, you know, to be mindset would be awesome for you. I think we really need to focus on your, on your nutrition. I really want to help you, you know, understand what foods work best for you. I really want to help you finally put an end to these emotional cravings and really help set you up for success for life. You know, when you can tell someone that, you know, where you're going to help them set up success for life and like help them understand what foods work for them and help them, you know, stop these cravings that have been the yo-yoing of their life for years, you're going to listen to that. And 2B Mindset is a fantastic program. And so again, we really, 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 you guys need to be really proud of what we offer because we really do offer amazing solutions to people. And we're the only company that has the full wellness in a box. And that's how I've been describing it to people. I tell them we have wellness in a box. That is what we have for people. But you have to know these things. You have to and stand proudly behind these things and realize that you don't just stop at challenge packs. You really just try to see where the need is and how our products can serve that need. And again, it just takes time. It just takes some understanding and you trialing the products yourself, but just keeping that in mind. You know, that it's about really serving where they are and what they need. 
And you, and I don't know if you guys know the number, like for example, you know, with, with Beachbody on demand, if you get a thousand people on Beachbody on demand, I know some of you guys are saying like a thousand people, but remember this is over time. This is like four or five years, six years, consistently adding people. You get a thousand people on Beachbody on demand every year in residual renewal in the renewal fee, that's $40,000 in residual income, just in the renewals from Beachbody on demand. You get 2,000 people, that's $80,000 just in residual, just from people continuing their auto, their, their auto renewal of the annual Beachbody On Demand. Those are pretty, that's no, that's no chump change, you know, and if you work on increasing your list and getting people, people love Beachbody On Demand. When you tell them what the value is and they realize that, and that's not even challenge packs, yeah, but people love Beachbody On Demand. They really recognize that it is a value. They really do. When you tell them $99 for one year and you get everything, you get all of our programs, they will say, yeah, that's a value. Most people, it'd be hard for you to find someone who says that, 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 that that's not a value. Yo, my January checks were lit. <laughs> yeah, because that's when the renewal happens. January and February is when the renewal happens. But just keep that in mind, guys, right? It's just I'm just planting the seeds that we have, we have so many different solutions. So be celebrating those wins. Be, and then my last, last plea is to plug into the team page, be sharing your wins with us. We have that, that running thread of sharing your wins and just plug into any groups that, you know, any pods that you may be in, plug in as much as you can. Okay. Especially again, like I said, there's a lot of energy. There's a lot of energy going moving forward. So you want to be in that energy because that's going to help you stay energetic and help you stay motivated. But if you like run off to the corner, we can't help you. We're not, we're not here to go chasing you, but we're here to support you and encourage you, but you have to be in it with us. So, all right, that's all I have to say. All right, guys, so I'm super excited and I hope you guys are too. So again, next week we're gonna be doing an Emerald Push, so look for that. And then um, we're gonna be posting the calendar. Ariel's making that calendar for us. So let's, you know, we'll make sure to thank her and give her credit for that. Um, but we're just all kind of coming together to really, really, really push all of our goals collectively moving forward. Okay. All right, guys. And yeah, so look for the recording and I will be posting the recording. Everyone have a good night. Thank you, Courtney, for your call and Jordan for your tips and everyone have a good night. Bye.